This video is to help you understand how chronic kidney disease can affect bones and blood vessels and how to keep them healthy. Calcium, phosphate and vitamin D are important to keep bones strong. A chemical called parathyroid hormone or PTH is also important for the health of our bones. The kidneys help keep bones healthy by balancing calcium, phosphate in the blood and by making active vitamin D. When someone has chronic kidney disease, their kidneys don't work as well as they should. So the kidneys struggle to help make active vitamin D and balance calcium and phosphate levels. This imbalance is called mineral bone disorder and can make bones weaker. It can also cause a buildup of calcium and phosphate in the blood vessels, heart and other parts of the body. This is called calcification and can make blood vessels stiff. This can increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Most people in the early stages do not normally have any symptoms. In more advanced mineral bone disorder, some people may have itchy skin, bone pain, weak bones that can break easily. A simple blood test can check blood levels of calcium, phosphate, parathyroid hormone and vitamin D. Some people need other tests, for example, a heart scan or an x-ray to check their heart and blood vessels. There are things we can do to help reduce the risk of mineral bone disorder. Being active to help keep bones strong, Having less food and drinks that are high in phosphate, for example, milk and dairy foods and processed foods with added phosphate. Make sure to check labels of packaged foods to see if they contain added phosphate. Some people need to take medicines to correct the imbalance of minerals in the body too. Some people take a mix of the following medicines. Phosphate binders. These soak up phosphate from the food we eat, so people take them with meals and snacks. Some examples are calcium acetate, lanthanum and cervelamar. Vitamin D, for example, alpha-calcidol or cholecalciferol. Calcium supplements. Cinecalcet or an injection called etalcalcetide and medicines can also be used to help with itching. It's really important to take these medicines regularly to stop damage to blood vessels, keep bones strong and protect the heart. Medicines can have side effects but most people feel fine. Possible side effects of medicines used to treat mineral bone disorder are upset stomach, constipation, feeling sick, and calcium levels in the blood that are too high or too low. Regular blood tests will check that vitamin D, PTH, calcium, and phosphate levels are good. If you think you have a side effect, talk to your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist. Remember, the kidneys help to balance levels of calcium and phosphate in the body to keep bones healthy. In chronic kidney disease, an imbalance of calcium, PTH and phosphate levels in the blood can cause mineral bone disorder. We can help keep the bones strong and protect the heart and blood vessels by eating less foods that are high in phosphate and keeping active. Taking medicines like phosphate binders, vitamin D and sinicalcet regularly can help correct mineral imbalances.